Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. As you might know, we set up a Bobcat Miner last week. If you didn't see that video, do click the link in the top right corner of this video to check it out. This means that we now have four days of data and that we'll know how much you can earn with a single miner when there are no other miners nearby. The second thing that we'll take a look at is the data usage. And then the third thing that we'll take a look at is setting up a Calship Rack Hotspot. If you like the sound of that, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video. So first things first, let's dive right into the phone and take a look at what we've been doing in the past few days. As you can see, in the past four days, we have mined 0.52 HNT. On the first day, we had 0.12. On the second day, we got 0.1. On the third day, there was a good one. We had 0.21. And on the last day, we had 0.09. Of course, this day is not over. It could become more. The other information we find on the screen is average witnesses. Of course, this is zero because there are no other hotspots around. And then we see the challenges and then we see 55. Now, what does all of this mean? Well, first of all, at the current prices, this is pretty good. I mean, 0.52 in uh, four days, that is a little bit less than 0.15 HNT per day. And at current prices, that would mean that you'll be getting between two and three dollars a day to put it a little bit in perspective, let's just say that we would do GPU mining with a GTX 1660, which is also about three, four hundred dollars, which is similar to the price of a hotspot. Then you will be getting similar results. So that is definitely not bad. Important side note, you do need a high price of $18. Only a few months ago, HNT was at $4. So keep in mind, these prices can fluctuate. The question, of course, is is this a good result? Is this exceptional? Is this normal? Can we get more? For this, we go back to the official website. We click on mine and then we scroll down to the reward system. So it is very important to know that right now, if you have a single miner, the only reward that you'll be getting is the challenger's reward. As you can see, it is less than 1% of the total reward package. As soon as we add a second miner and they can connect to each other, then we should be getting this reward, proof of coverage, and this reward, which is witness. If we add up these percentages, then in theory, we should get 20 times more rewards per day. So in this case, if you multiply 0.15 by 20, then we could expect about 3 HNT per day. And at current prices, that would be pretty insane. And good news, this is exactly what we'll do in the upcoming days. In this video, I'll show you how to connect the Calchip Rack hotspot. And then, of course, we'll try to connect these two to each other. Important side note, um, the Rack hotspot miner and the Bobcat miner, they are pretty close to each other. I think about 100 meters apart. So normally this is too close. Helium expects the miners to be at least 300 meters apart. So I hope they will connect. And I think if they connect, that we will get less rewards. My estimation is that the rewards will be cut in half. So I think we should be getting about one HNT per day, which is still a 10X increase. So that would be a really good result. Now, before we take a look at the uh, Calchip miner, we'll first take a look at the data usage. So for my Bobcat miner, I connected a 4G Wi-Fi router so we can track the data. So in this case, we used in these four days 8.23 gigabytes. Most of this data is of course used for syncing with the blockchain because as soon as you sync with the blockchain, you have to pull in the entire blockchain data just to be up to date. After that, well, of course it will be less. So my estimation is that you would be using about three to four gigabytes if you only have uh, one miner set up. Maybe if you have two miners set up, I can imagine if you have a whole bunch of miners that you have to connect to that you'll be sending a lot more data. And then as soon as people start using it, you'll be sending a lot more data. That's why when you look online, you see estimations between 20 and 30 gigabytes. But I think these are situations where the network is really being used. If you only have one miner, I think it will be uh, less than 10 gigabytes per month. So the first thing, of course, you have to do is go to the Calchip website. There is a link in the description of this video. Then you click on order the Rack Hotspot Miner. Very important. If you order one now, you will be receiving it in the summer. So I think July, August. The good thing about Calchip is that they send out a update with shipping information every week. So they'll give each batch a specific name. Usually they take uh, animal names and then they'll put a date on it. If the date moves, of course, they will give you an update. So that's uh, nice to know. They will keep you up to date regardless if there are delays, yes or no. Each week you will get an update email. 
I was also surprised to see this. It seems like they are going to add Catlink miners, which is something new. And they say that is also compatible with the Helium network. So next to the Rack Hotspot miner, they will be adding a new brand, which also should ship in the summer of 2021. But yeah, let's just take a look at the Rack miner that I got. You click on order. Then you choose the right frequency. You could add an enclosure if you want to put it outside, but I think most people put it inside. You can always put the antenna outside. Click add to cart. Agree to the conditions, check out. Then you fill in all the information and next you fill in the discount code. You'll find the discount code and discount link in the description of this video. You click apply and then continue to shipping. Next, we'll calculate the shipping method. Then we continue to payment. And then you'll have several payment methods. So the Bobcat Miner, you were able to pay with crypto. Sadly, Calchip, you can't pay with crypto, but you are able to pay with Visa, MasterCard, and a few other payment methods. So if you're not comfortable paying with uh, crypto, then you can order the uh, Rack Miner. And if you really want to pay with crypto, then you can order the Bobcat Miner. Next, you click pay now and you're good to go. So when we open the box, we see that we have a little card in which we have some uh, setup information and something where we can write down the seed phrases. Of course, always keep these seed phrases safe. That's the only way to access your wallet. Don't give them to anyone ever because anyone who has the seed phrases will have access to your HNT. Next, of course, we have the adapter for the power. Then we have an antenna. And last but not least, we have the miner itself. Next thing you do is plug in the cable to the side. As you can see, it is a USB-C connection. This also means, yes, the rack miner only uses five volts, which is uh, very little when it comes to the antenna. By default, it uses a 2.8 dBi antenna, and I think the US one uses a 2.3 dBi antenna. Of course, you can always upgrade this if you want to. When it comes to the remainder of the hardware, you will see that the uh, Rack Hotspot Miner uses a Raspberry Pi 4. If you want to find out more, then be sure to check out the uh, data sheet of the Rack Miner on the Calchip website. So as soon as we have unpacked the Miner, the next thing you do is screw on the antenna and then of course plug in the power. Next, you turn on your phone, you download the Helium app, which we've installed already, and then it's time to connect your device. So as soon as you arrive in the Helium app, you click on the plus symbol in the top right corner. Then in this case, you click on the Rack Hotspot Miner. Then we click skip for now, or you can read the information if you want to. Then we say, I understand. We give permission for our location. We say we're powered up. And then we say scan for my hotspot. Give it a few seconds. Maybe you have to try it one or two times. Once he finds the hotspot, click connect. And then you can connect the uh, hotspot to the Wi-Fi. Or if you don't have Wi-Fi, just click use Ethernet instead. So in this case, we'll say use Ethernet instead. The last thing you'll have to do is set up the hotspot location. In this case, we'll say no thanks. I'll set that up later. But normally you just say ask for permission and then it will use the uh, location data from your cell phone to pin down the location of your hotspot. Once you're done, you click register hotspot and the hotspot will start registering itself to the Helium network. So yes, this is all you have to do and you are ready to go. So in this case, we're going to give the hotspot about two days to register the network. Maybe it will take three days again. And then uh, we should have about four days left to gather data. Hopefully he'll connect to the Bobcat miner and then hopefully we'll get 10 times as many rewards. So if you wanna know the result of this little test, be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to press that notification bell, subscribe, and then definitely check again at the end of next weekend. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and then I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.